GoPro record? No? Maybe it is recording. Is this thing recording? Oh, it is recording. Okay, so I'm gonna try this camera for today. Uh, I've got my other camera, but I think the sound quality and picture quality is just absolute trash. Uh, and this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I have four of these stupid things, and I don't even like them. But uh, we'll see how we go. I do know that I have to make a video about this Pro Ag Design Bell Runner 16K Plus. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't know why anybody wouldn't like it, but I do like it a lot. And uh, yeah, that's coming. But today, my chariot just so happens to be the 7530 with the Crone Big Pack on the back. And I'm gonna get onto it with that. So, okay, so I just picked up Teresa. I got the 7530 and she has the 8530. And she will be following, her and William are in there. She'll be following me down to where we are going to be bailing. Yes, monster. And that will work right there. So we've got to bail about 500 bales tonight between the two of us, maybe 600. I've already bailed 90. Um, I won't be able to finish everything that I have to do tonight. Uh, but there's ground that's raked up. Timmy Corn Picker's got some hay mate raked up for me, and I have hay down the other end of this road here that's picked raked up. I'm hoping that this camera's working correctly because, yeah, she's coming. Uh, I just really need it to work correctly. It'd be pretty ridiculous if it wasn't. Um, yeah, I, I just got to get my camera back in business. So there you go. All right, so I'm in a field, and I'm going to scream and holler about my nephew. All right, so took two days to mow a farm that I could normally do in just a couple of hours, right, or a few hours. And I'm, I couldn't understand, but, you know, I'm thinking, well, he just took his time. It is pretty thick and stuff. But now that I'm actually uh, bailing this field, and you may be able to tell by the way this thing is lurching my ass around. I am not the person that planted this farm. The previous owner of this farm did, and he used a moldboard plow, and he didn't, it wasn't a switch plow, it was a moldboard plow, and instead of running the headlands, he actually, you know, and you can do this successfully without too much problem, if you're smart, but apparently Roger wasn't, because he made like four sections across this field with the moldboard plow, and he'd leave the center furrow, and then of course the, the, the furrows, you know, you got the center furrow, which is right here on this particular spot, and uh, you can see the little bump, but then you get over here and you can see the furrow where he didn't work it closed with the damn disc, all right, so normally I would run the windrows from the top of the field to the bottom of the field so that I didn't have to deal with these furrows and center furrows because this field is extraordinarily rough. But my nephew, Grant, to whom I'm going to kick his ass when I get out of here, because I'm only bailing at three miles per hour when I should normally be going seven, eight in windrows like this. Seven or eight miles an hour, just really slamming the bales out. But I can't because now I'm going to have some words with him because my neck is sore. My back is sore. Because not only did he do it on this field, but he did it on that field and he did it on the next field. But the field on the end, he actually did correct. Ugh. But anyway, I know, I know, experience outweighs youth every time. But still, ah, oh, you have no idea how rough this field is. Two, three, three, three miles per hour is what I'm going right now. There's, there's just no way I can go any faster uh, because I'll break something. And when you get to the when you get to the furrow, 
in in the middle of the fields there's one two three of them three three of them three or four of them three of them the when the baler drops into it 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 just jerks this tractor so hard i i can't even believe how painful it is there's the dip there's the bat the tractor and here comes the baler one two three there it is so normally I would be able to go, and you can see how the fertilizer, where the fertilizer was put on, because Cody put the fertilizer on this, and you can see the tracks where he went up and down the uh, field, like a normal human being would do. You know, here here's a set of tracks. See, right, right there. You can see them. So that's how that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. And and here's the other thing. If you're if and I can't even think straight. If you're mowing a field and you start going the long way, because that's usually how you mow a farm, you go to the longest runs so there's less turnaround. But if you do that, I mean that would be normal. But because this this farm is wet, we always plowed it up and down when we farmed it before Roger had bought it, then Roger sold it, and then we started farming it again from the new owner, so Roger's the one that actually did this. But yeah, in order to get the field to drain out correctly, you run the furrows downhill uh, so that the water will run down the furrows, and you'd be okay, it just runs better. And uh, But when you realize that you have done that, that you have started to mow the field, and it is rougher than a bear's ass, you can always stop, think about your life a little bit and how miserable you want to make it or how pleasurable you want to make it and turn the fucking machine around and go the other way. I, I, I mean, I've done, Teresa's done one of the fields. I've done two. And she's about to go into another one that he did the opposite direction again. I'd rather make a thousand turns than 10 in a field like this. I really truly would. This is horrific. But anyways, I'm done ranting. Done ranting. Uh, I think I am anyway. Oh well. So I just said a whole bunch of crap for nothing because for some reason I didn't hit the right button. But anyways, <laughs> isn't that amazing? I, now you hear my evil wife downstairs and my son laughing as well. You two are crazy. So anyway, oh, oh man, it was wonderful. It was really nice what I said, and you should all just be happy. But anyways, what I said in general was that if you like the quality of this video, I know that this was the GoPro Hero 7 Black that I bought four of these silly things to do my uh, straw job down in North Carolina, and I will be bringing them along to do the corn fodder job in Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania. And yes, we will be traveling all through these states making corn fodder. And yes, the baler will hold up. The, uh, if it doesn't, we fix it and move on with life. That's just the way this stuff works. But anyway, uh, yeah. So if you like the picture quality, I just say, yeah, we like the picture quality. If you don't like it, I'll go back to my old crap camera that I absolutely am starting to dislike. Uh, it's not old. It was actually new, but it never was the quality that I felt was very good. Um, but anyways, and on top of that, if you like the video and if you like my videos, which at least a hundred thousand people do, um, you can uh, go up here on the right hand side. There's a bell, the little bell, maybe it's down below now. I'm not even sure. But anyways, if you see the little bell icon, hit that bell icon because gobble my, you know, what's it's are, um, you know, saying that if subscribers don't hit the bell then they're really not that interested in your channel so we'll just you know like unsubscribe them at random and cause all kinds of troubles and we won't even give uh, one lonely farmer a uh, ranking in the YouTube world uh, so there's a lot of people that are getting put ahead of me yes I know my gets me in trouble sometimes and of course advertisers don't like that so I'm going to try and tame that down uh, just because it's what the world wants. But that's bullshit. You know, that's just absolute bullshit. I should be able to say what I want on YouTube. That's the way it used to be. As long as I'm not threatening anybody uh, violently or anything else, I should be able to say a few F-bombs and C-words and S-bombs and whatever H-bombs there are without any consequence. 
So I'll probably just continue being the foul-mouthed farmer from New Jersey. But anyways, if you don't like the foul-mouthed farmer from New Jersey, go on over to Millennial Farmer. Go on over to, God, who else? Um, yeah, uh, Welker Farms. They're good. Uh, you could do WT Farm Girl. She doesn't swear. I haven't heard a word there. But uh, I kind of like the real-world view of agriculture. Our mouths get us into trouble. I have talked with Zach from Millennial Farmer personally, and I think his mouth runs a little bit more foul than mine. And if he's watching this, he remembers. So anyways, I was in North Carolina just to jar your brain. And uh, anyways, whatever. Okay, I'm done. Don't forget to hit the little bell. Thanks for watching. I almost forgot how farms work. Ryan, I heard Ryan say the F word for the first time while I was in his truck, and my eyes went like, Oh my God! Did you just say what I thought you did? Yeah, it was kind of funny. It was funny. He says, well, yes, we just don't... Yes, Wes, we just don't say that online. Damn!